my good friends Rachna and Amit Bagwe. I really appreciate them because I have been seeing them for a long time now and I have seen them grow. See, when they are giving this growth story conclave over here to us as a gift, it's they have also grown with it. And they are the true example that if you have a goal in your mind, if you have a dream in your mind, you can do it. A big hand for both of them. The speaker is yes, our very own Vice Chancellor of Nikmar, Dr. Mrs. Sushma Kulkarni. But before her session, let's look at her profile. Dr. Mrs. Sushma S. Kulkarni is a Vice Chancellor at Nikmar University, Pune, and she is former director at Rajaram Bapu Institute of Technology, RIT, Maharashtra. She is working as an elected executive member on the executive committee of Global Engineering Dean's Council, which is GEDC. She is an editor for Journal of Engineering Education Transformation, a Scopus Index and UGC Care recognized journal from January 2014 in collaboration with IUCEE. He is a fellow of the Institution of Engineers India, an elected member of IEI Pune chapter. She is actively associated with IUCEE Foundation as a promoter. Dr. Sushma has received more than 25 awards and honors for her outstanding academic work, including the Global Award for Excellence in Engineering Education, 2019 IFE's Duncan Fraser Global Award, with a crash prize of US dollar 1000 and the ISTD Emerging HRD Thinker Gold Medal for her paper. She has 34 years of teaching experience in civil engineering programs and her areas of interest are concrete technology, TQM, quality circles, construction management, watershed management, OBE and women empowerment. She has received her PhD in civil engineering 2003, ME in construction management 1993 from Shivaji University, Kolhapur and B in civil engineering 1987 from VNIT, Nagpur, India. जोरदार तालियों से स्वागत करेंगे वाइस चांसलर सुषमा कुमारी मैम। So I'll start with good evening to all. Good evening. Because now afternoon is almost over. Yes. So I know you have been kept motivated by clapping, by wishing. And of course, by listening to great speakers over here. So, Honorable Dais over here, and my good friends, Rachna and Amit Bagwe. I really appreciate them because I've been seeing them for a long time now, and I've seen them grow. See, when they are giving this growth story conclave over here to us as a gift, it's they have also grown with it. And they are the true example that if you have a goal in your mind, if you have a dream in your mind, you can do it. A big hand for both of them. So I am here. Uh, all of you have appreciated our Nikmar Auditorium, the campus, but let me ensure you that the people here are equally warm and welcoming. I think that's important. Raviraj sir will agree with me that it's people in the Vastu who would make it a place to live. Uh, I'll share with you the growth story of Nikmar because Nikmar was started in 1983 by Indian Construction Association. <laughs> and it was with a focus that we will develop in the crypt sector. This name was given by the, I think, founder person who started with this uh, trust. Crip is the construction, real estate, infrastructure and project sector and the manpower development would be done through this sector. It is under the Charity Registered Societies Act and of course the focus now at present our chairman has a dream that it will be the only pioneering built environment university in India. We became a self-financed private university in June 2022. So last year it has become a university. That's the growth story and of course uh, we have a campus in Hyderabad, Nikmar Hyderabad is there and we also have an exclusive Nikmar executive education because this executive education is a rare and unique wherein we train people from the industry at all levels, junior, middle and senior level 
again specialize in the crip sector i will use the word crip construction real estate infrastructure and projects how we could get the strength the strength of nikmar comes from the industry construction giants eminent personalities so companies like hcc shakur ji gaman india ultratech lot of industries they came together this was some time in 1980s as i said it started in 1983 and our construction industry the contractors could not back the international contracts and when they came together and tried to solve the problem they realized that we didn't have the person certified in construction management and that's how they could not bid and then they came together talked to government of india and you know then this came together talked to it government of india also appreciated this thought process and then when the permission was given the curriculum was developed in a very specialized way and that's how the product of nikmar is different the cur curriculum was developed by the experts from the domain uh, from university of michigan from lockborough university from mit from eminent educators in india like iims then there was undp involved into it there was ilo involved into it so lot of parameters were taken into account and we were gifted with a unique curriculum which nik made nikmar what it is today as i said we became university in 2022 recently the vision of nikmar as honorable ajit gulab chand is our chairman his vision is to be a global university to promote sustainability embrace enterprising values and produce industry ready professionals for responsible built environment so of course enterprising values entrepreneurship is into the vision these are the schools which nikmar university has there is school of construction mba in advanced construction management which is our flagship program for a long time now with the intake of 750 plus students at a pg level then there is post graduate diploma one year program in quantity survey <coughs> and contract management and a phd is offered from that school there is school of project management which provides advanced project management with intake of 120 then there is school of architecture planning and real estate wherein we provide mba in real estate and urban infrastructure there is master of planning in urban and brh program which we have started in the current year then school of energy and environment very unique program i don't think many universities in india are doing and this is developed with the industry taking into account their requirements because they did not have much of technical requirement but more of managing the energy sector and we all talk of environment sustainability but then we need manpower trained into it and so industries like thyssen group they came forward and they have supported this program we offer mba in environment management and mba in energy management then school of engineering this year current year we have started with btech in civil engineering with minor in aiml and construction management and then we have our nikmar business school which offers mba program and also bba program in line with nep policy 3 years bba if you want you can continue go for fourth year honors in bba and then fifth year if you do you can get mba degree then there is a post graduate diploma in family business and entrepreneurship so we have this two years mba program in family business and entrepreneurship i have lot of entrepreneurs here they would be interested in it and of course a phd program is also offered the philosophy of nikmar university is like we always focus on providing quality learning environment so the infrastructure the laboratories the softwares they are all in the available here in nikmar to make our graduates industry ready we have highly qualified faculty i am proud to say more than 80% faculty is phd and phd's from premium organizations like iits iims and all premier institutes in india then we have tie ups with international universities because we want to be a global university we bring in the best practices globally we focus on internships of students so that they get exposure to the world and of course develop culture of research and entrepreneurship incubation and startup i think that is what makes us closer to earth sanket and we wish that this tie up will help us to get connected as you have heard so many people here from a great diversity from different sectors but then there is lots and lots to learn from every sector